Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have another event on the ATP this week, an ATP 250 event, the St. Petersburg Open in Russia. And we don't have any withdrawals in this event, so everyone is playing that has been entered into the draw. And we have some big names playing in this one with ATP finals just around the corner. Let's go check out the top half of the draw. So starting at the top of the draw, we've got Andrei Rublev, the number one seed. Didn't have a great week last week in Moscow at the Kremlin Cup, so he'll be looking to rebound. And of course, he's already qualified for the ATP finals, so he's just looking for some form. He's also the defending champion of this event. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Jera or Avashka in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that qualifier match will take on either the wild card Sidarazic or number 8 seed Korda in the second round. Then we've got the number 3 seed Batista Agu gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of the qualifier or McDonald in the second round. Then we've got Chilich versus Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that match takes on either Manorino or the number 6 seed Hashinov in the second round. So the players to watch out for Obviously, got to watch out for Rublev. Looking to get in some form before the end of the year season finals. Of course, the ATP finals happening in a couple of weeks' time. Also, keep an eye on Hashinov. Had a really good week in Moscow last week. Got to the semifinals of that event. So keep an eye on him. And Marin Cilic, he actually made the final of the Kremlin Cup. So keep an eye on him. He's getting into some form very late in the season on the indoor hard courts. So keep an eye on Cilic as well. Bottom half of the draw now, and we've got the number five seed, Taylor Fritz. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or Paul in the second round. Then we've got Milman versus the wild card, Olil. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Karatsev, in the second round. Then we've got the number seven seed, Bublik, taking on the wild card, Tiurnev. Winner of that match takes on either Struff or Duckworth in the second round. Then we've got Delbonis versus Anduha. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Shapovalov, in the second round. So the players to watch out for, got to watch out for Karatsev. Had a really, really good week last week. Got to the final of the Kremlin Cup. And he's also playing for an ATB final spot. So with a couple of good results, he could make the ATB finals after a breakout season. Also keep an eye on Shapovalov. An outside chance of making the ATB finals. He basically has to win every single event he plays. But who knows? Maybe something happens. Maybe a player gets injured in the top eight. And he might be able to sneak in. So watch out for Shapo. And also Fritz. Let's see how he does after a great Indian Wells tournament. Making the semi-finals there. Let's see if he can back that up in a smaller event in St. Petersburg. So there you have it. The St. Petersburg Open was actually an ATB 500 event last year. It got upgraded, but it's back down to 250. So 250 points for the winner. And there's a lot on the line. A lot of players that are playing for ATB final spots. Only the last couple of weeks of the season to go. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? Carrots is in great form. Chapo's looking for some form. Or is it going to be Rublev who can rebound from last week's poor performance? So having a look at the draw now. And I'm going to go with Rublev. I think last week he had a poor loss. And I think he's going to learn from that. He's going to be really eager to get some form going into the final stretch of the season. And of course the ATB finals. So he's looking for form. I'm going to go with Rublev to win this one. But like I said, Karatsev, he's in great form right now. And also Hashinov. Don't forget to watch out for those Russians too, but I'm going to go with Rublev to win this one. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win. So another week in Russia, the St. Petersburg Open. It's got some big names playing.